Hey guys, welcome to Living Survival. This morning we're going to try to cook up some breakfast using a new stove from 180. It's their V-shaped stove. Uh, you can set it just about anywhere. It's very, very lightweight. Uh, and uh, we're going to see what happens. And we're going to have a little fun this morning. So stay with me. Processing up some firewood here. I'll use my knife in a minute, but why use a knife when you can use an axe? Tanning through some wood here. I'm using a condor bush lure and a condor axe. Process up some wood. Alright guys, so this is the stove I'm going to be using this morning. It's a 180V. It packs down and it, it actually goes together really, really easy. So you just take these two parts. It consists of just four pieces. Uh, your two windbreaks and then it really makes a sturdy structure for, uh, for any kind of pot that you want to put on here. I mean, you can, you can put a... Uh, I put just to test I put a Dutch oven on here and it and it held it up just fine so so basically it just goes together like that I want to show you guys this down in the uh, lower half of the country I know you guys just get trickles of pine sap but I uh, wanted to show you what we get up here in Michigan as you can see this is just a humongous clump of nothing but awesome pine sap. As you can see, there's a whole clump of it. Awesome for a fire starter. You could keep digging there. You could dig a lot more of that out, but uh, this is definitely all I need. Go ahead and get some of this uh, pine sap lit. And you can see, once you light it, it works as great fire starter. You can just plop it right down in the snow even. And that stuff will stay lit for a good while. Even in wet conditions.
And I don't really have any really little stuff, so I'm just going to kind of hopefully build this up just a little bit at a time. Pine resin gives you a lot of time to even use bigger amounts of wood. So the V-shaped sides allow a lot of oxygen to go in and, uh, you know, not a lot of wind to go in. It makes it work really well. Like I said, a lot of this wood is wet. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some water boiling here for some uh, oatmeal this morning. Just going to grab some of this. Fresh snow here. And I'm using a Tokes titanium uh, 750 mil pot with bale, which I like a lot. Now, like I said, this thing's really heavy duty. I mean, you could put a lot of weight on uh, on this stove here. Careful you don't put your fire out with your snow. All right, so it's been about uh, five minutes. We're gonna go ahead and check on our uh, snow here. Just about all melted. And uh, so we just gotta wait for it to boil. This stove's really nice because if you need to, you can you can position it around your wood. You know, you can move it uh, so that you're getting the hottest part of the flames. All right, guys, so my camera battery died. That's lesson one for the day. And, uh, Luckily I had my phone as a backup here, so 
we're gonna go ahead and uh, I see smoke coming out of the, uh, the little holes there so I think she's boiling yep boiling good there so go ahead and uh, trying to do this one-handed now add in my oatmeal here now you see how the it's cooking too hot too hot right now for oatmeal so I can go ahead and uh, just push this stove back a little bit off the fire again another really nice thing about the v-shaped stove rather than an esbit because in an esbit you'd have your wood inside and you'd have to like lift your pot and scrape it out go ahead and give this a quick stir and then I'm gonna go ahead and take it off the fire and uh, put the top on it here and let it sit for a little bit and uh, the oatmeal should be should be good and done Still worked mighty fine. Very happy with it. Alright guys, well I appreciate you joining me for this video this morning. It's about 20 degrees out and it's just starting to snow. So I'm going to go ahead and enjoy the rest of my oatmeal. If you enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. And as always, leave me a comment below and subscribe for more videos.